Hello YouTube, my name is Joseph, aka The Food Science Foodie, and without any further ado, let's get right into the explanation. Why are there little bubbles forming on the glass of my water like you can kind of see happening here? And the simple answer is, is basically it's just oxygen and nitrogen from the air. So the air that we breathe is made up of mostly nitrogen, a little bit of oxygen, and some other small gases. So what happens is if you pour a cold glass of water, like on a day like today, it's so hot, you want something cool and refreshing. So you, you pour uh, a cold glass of water and the gas gets cold, cold and it slows down, right? Because it can't move so fast because it's too cold, right? So basically what happens is it's the, the gas is dissolved in the liquid and you don't see it. But then you leave your glass sitting out, it starts to warm up, and next thing you know, you see these little bubbles forming and what's happening is the gas starts moving on up. It starts getting more and more, moving, moving. And then there are these little, if you look, you look at the microscope, you look really, really close to the glass, there's like these little holes, little pores. And then as the water is moving, I mean, excuse me, as the gas is moving, it gets caught and gets stuck on these. And then it'll start building and building and building until it gets big enough and rise up out of the glass. And essentially what this does is it just goes back to a principle in chemistry known as Le Chetier's principle, which is going to bring us to part two, which is why the soils go flat. Now, if you like this information, just please, all I ask is that you hit the like button and share this with somebody that you know. All right. So without further ado, so does even flat. So first of all, Le Chetier was a French chemist whose research was foundational in helping us understand how chemicals react with one another. And essentially, one of the principles of it is that differences in pressure and temperature can cause um, different reactions. So one thing uh, that can demonstrate this beautifully is a bottle of Coke. Okay, so essentially what's happening here is Coke is filled with CO2, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is what's in the liquid. It's all bubbly and tastes delicious and, you know, gives it its characteristic of all soft drinks, really. So what happens is this bottle, the liquids inside of this bottle are under intense pressure because carbon dioxide stays dissolved in this liquid under pressure, right? So what Le Chetier's principle essentially says is that when we open this bottle, there will be a difference in pressure between the inside and the outside. So listen to this. Hear that? That's the sound of the CO2, the pressure being released. As the pressure is released, Start seeing some bubble at the top here. That's the CO2 that's dissolved in the liquid that is now coming out because we've changed the pressure, right? And basically what's happening is in the bottle, this bottle, all these dots represent the CO2, right? So they're under pressure held in the liquid. Well, when we open it and if we leave it open, all these CO2 molecules are all cramped together and held in, right? They're like, oh, I want space. I want space. So whenever we open it up and there's this environment that's got so much less CO2, so much air. They just want to, uh, they want to stretch out and get out and move, right? So essentially, it's going to try to reach equilibrium and it's going to escape, as we just heard. Now, what causes it to go flat is if you leave this bottle open and I just let it sit like this, this CO2 is going to keep escaping and eventually all of it's going to leave and that's what causes it to be flat. Now, another thing that can cause flat soda is, mm, say I pour a nice glass and then leave the bottle like this. Maybe I drink about half of it. Well, what happens is even within this bottle, now the pressure is different. So now the CO2 is going from the liquid and into the headspace of the bottle. This, this area right here is what we call the headspace, right? So the more I drink, the bigger the headspace, the more CO2 is going to leave the liquid and the flatter the soda is going to be. So the lesson is one: if you get a two liter, don't leave it. You know, don't leave it out long. Drink it faster. Lesson two: what we learned from the example of the water is, whenever you have something cold, the gases will stay dissolved longer, right? Because they're slower. They just can't move out as quickly. So. That's why anytime you get something like a Coke from a vending machine, it's always served cold because when it's cold, the CO2 is going to stay in there and it's going to be crisper, more bubbly, and more refreshing that way. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you enjoyed this content, all I ask is you hit a like button down there at the bottom. Thank you so much. The food science foodie.